Welcome to the award-winning Waterman Wellness, your pathway to health and wellness with local experts as your guides. I'm Michelle Borgo. In this episode, you'll get important health advice from local medical practitioners, including You'll learn about treatments for urinary incontinence, an embarrassing condition that affects people of all ages. Is it time for you or a loved one to start seeing a doctor who specializes in geriatrics? And we'll have a cool weather recipe that will satisfy your taste buds and your hungry belly. But first, have you resolved to add more exercise to your life in 2015? No question, it is critical to your health and can help with a wide variety of medical issues. But before you step up your activity level, experts say you need to choose your exercise regime wisely. Now, I see a lot of injuries in people that just get involved in things that are way too advanced, potentially for their level, like CrossFit, and then they end up with uh, muscle tears. I would suggest that, especially for someone that hasn't exercised for a while, to work into something so slowly, do something easier first, like lower impact like cycling or swimming before jumping into something more high impact. Dr. Bershka says if you do experience an injury, it is important to pay attention to the symptoms to determine whether you may have caused more damage than you think. You know, it's initially hard to tell the difference between a sprain or a fracture occasionally, but symptoms that would suggest that it is a fracture would be especially the inability to bear weight for more than, say, one or two days. If you're unable to bear weight on your leg for a few days, you should seek the advice of a physician and get x-rays to ensure that you don't have a break. Dr. Bershka says it is always best to stretch and warm up before any exercise, and then ramp yourself up gradually over time. Think you overdid it? Visit fhwatermanortho.com to find an orthopedist who can help. Don't be discouraged if you're struggling to find the right way to introduce more exercise into your life. You can get helpful information and encouragement from local experts in a series of classes designed to make you fit for life. The program, offered at the Conry Creation Health Center at Florida Hospital Waterman, is designed for people of all ages and of any physical condition who want to step up activity. This course is a 10-week course and it really helps people begin to exercise on a regular basis and understand what it means. What does it mean if you're um, an older person who isn't active but wants to become active? How do you begin that process safely and effectively and understand all of the elements from aerobic activity to strength building activity to stretching? How do you become a stronger fit person? If you're a middle-aged adult, you can equally as well begin that process so that at any age, if you've been inactive, and seven out of 10 Americans are inactive, you can begin to learn again how to transform your life utilizing the science of activity. Each session has a challenge that's related to nutrition. So these two areas, nutrition and activity, get merged together in this course over 10 weeks, and people are able to really see and capture their strength, they begin to transform by the eighth and tenth week, and then they continue on forever and regain their health. Their physicians are delighted by the progress they've made. The body chemistry corrects itself. The next 10-week course begins February 3rd and costs $50. Visit ConryCreationHealth.com for information and to register. Having access to the latest advances in medical care close to home is important to many. That's why Lake County residents should know that if you or a loved one is diagnosed with cancer, state-of-the-art care is available locally. Recently, the Commission on Cancer of the American College of Surgeons granted three-year accreditation to the Florida Hospital Waterman Cancer Institute. The American College of Surgeons Commission on Cancer sets um, standards and criteria for cancer programs throughout the country. Um, to make sure that these programs are providing the best care, the best patient-centric care, and by that I mean keeping a focus on the patients. The importance to the um, residents of our county would be the fact that they have a program here locally that they can come to that they know is being held to the same high standards that all cancer programs across the country who are participating under the Commission on Cancer are being held to these same standards. This means residents can expect best-in-class care and procedures right here in our community. Even though we're in Lake County, we happen to have uh, 
probably one of the biggest uh, experiences in Central Florida uh, with the use of partial breast radiation. And this is compare, compared to the whole nation where uh, we have used a savvy catheter and we are within the top three in a private practice setting in using this sort of technology in treating breast cancer. And this involves delivering radiation treatment twice a day for five days instead of the eight weeks. The Florida Hospital Waterman Cancer Program has had the Commission on Cancer Accreditation since the mid-90s. Florida Hospital Waterman has more kudos to claim. Earlier, we referred to the award-winning Waterman Wellness. Recently, the program received international recognition from the Association of Marketing and Communications Professionals. The October edition of Waterman Wellness received the highest honor, a Platinum Marcom Award in the Video and Film Medical category. Our next story focuses on your heart and efforts to keep it healthy. In honor of Heart Month next month, Florida Hospital Waterman is offering a number of opportunities for you and your loved ones to learn more about this important organ and how to keep it healthy. Did you know one in four women in the U.S. dies from heart disease? That's why the ladies are invited to attend the Women's Hot Topics Breakfast to hear from experts about heart health. The event will be held Friday, February 6th at the Tavares Pavilion on the lake. Call the number on your screen to register. The breakfast is free, but space is limited. How does diabetes contribute to heart disease? Listen to a local cardiovascular disease specialist at a free seminar on Wednesday, February 18th at 1 p.m. in the Madison Conference Center at Florida Hospital Waterman. You can cook up some heart health by learning some delicious recipes that are good for, you guessed it, your heart. The Heart Healthy Cooking Class will be held on February 19th at 5 p.m. in the Connery Creation Health Center Kitchen. The class is free, but call 352-253-3635 to reserve your spot. On Tuesday, February 24th, electrophysiologist Miguel Bryce will discuss irregular heartbeats and the state-of-the-art treatments available right here in Lake County for this dangerous condition. Dr. Bryce's seminar begins at 1 p.m. in the Madison Conference Center. You can take advantage of free health assessments at the Love Your Heart Health Expo on Wednesday, February 25th from 9 until noon in the hospital atrium. Of course, you'll find information about all of these Heart Month events by visiting fhwatermanheart.com. It's time to take a short break, but we'll have plenty more when Waterman Wellness continues. A local expert explains why young mothers are susceptible to an embarrassing bladder condition. Two local experts explain how specialized care for seniors could be the prescription for a better quality of life. And a winter squash is what's cooking when we visit the Conry Creation Health Center kitchen in a few moments. First, Waterman Wellness has information about community support groups that can help you or a loved one. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the award-winning Waterman Wellness, your pathway to healthy living with help from local experts. I'm Michelle Wargo. Did you know seniors over age 60 represent the fastest growing segment of our community? This segment of the population has a huge impact on the economy, especially because of the health care they receive. Because the elderly can be prone to certain medical conditions, it is important to ensure they have access to an experienced and specialized network of healthcare providers. Well, there is no real set age that we recommend a patient be evaluated by a geriatrician or get a geriatric assessment. Um, it is mainly at the discretion of the family members of the patient and or the primary care physician. A lot of times, as physicians or even the family members, identify potential problems with the patient, like a rapid deterioration in their overall function, a uh, patient is falling more often, a patient seems to be confused or having memory loss, or even having new onset incontinence. Sometimes patients who have a good relationship with their primary care doctor for many years is very difficult to change. Uh, having a geriatrician at your doctor can be very helpful because we're very well versed or we're trained in dementia. 
so we can recognize that and help. We're trained extensively in terms of recognize medication side effect. Uh, so certainly, the field of geriatric, when it first started out, it's based on the age. So 65 and older, as we see now, we start to realize there are some patients who are 55, but they're because they have a stroke, because various comorbidity, it put their functional status is so low that they may need to look into a geriatrician. Many misconceptions is that you have to be old and frail to see a geriatrician, um, and that is very wrong. We do, a lot of what we do is healthy aging. So we like patients to come in at a younger age, in their adulthood, uh, to come in and discuss what true healthy aging is and the ways that we can do that. A lot of times if we get people at a younger age, we are on time to prevent further cardiovascular events or any cardiovascular events at all because we've been able to identify the problem on time and reverse it on time. Dr. Wynn suggests that you consider consulting a geriatrician if you experience side effects from multiple medications that your primary physician is not recognizing. You'll find a listing of local experts who specialize in geriatrics by visiting fhwaterman.com. Our next story concerns a problem often associated with the elderly, but that does affect people of all ages. Urinary incontinence can be an embarrassing condition that truly impacts quality of life. Women experience the loss of bladder control twice as often as men, but doctors say many are too ashamed to ask for help. Between 17 and 30 percent of uh, folks over 50 will have some form of urinary incontinence. The most important thing to know about leakage of urine is that it's really quite treatable. Women who have uh, leakage uh, that's associated with relaxation of the pelvic floor, this leakage that's associated with cough and laugh and sneeze, which many times presents after childbirth, even if the childbirth is not through a vaginal delivery, the pelvic floor muscles don't know that you're going in for a cesarean section, and so they still prepare similarly. That relaxation is uh, quite recoverable so that the tone can be restored and so that urinary control can be restored. If one leaks urine with a strong urge to urinate, and so this is the second type of uh, urinary leakage, sort of an, oh my goodness, I have to go, and then it's too late already, it's also really quite treatable. Many times, uh, a daily medicine is enough to treat the therapy, and the medicine comes in patch form and gel form and tablet form and sublingual form. There's a lot of treatment options. None of them are available unless you say out loud, I have a problem with urinary leakage and I'd like some help. Dr. Fountain says there are a variety of options for people who experience urinary incontinence that also include minimally invasive procedures or even physical therapy. There's a pacemaker for the bladder that's available. Um, it's an easy way to understand it. it. Stimulates the bladder nerve so that the bladder relaxes a bit. Uh, there are some surgical options like slings and uh, collagen or coaptide injections. This is like the collagen injection for lips that bulks them up for the movie stars and for other folks as well. Uh, but it's done inside the urethra and it narrows the urethra so that the resistance to urine flow is increased. When we look at a group of patients who's had pelvic floor uh, rehabilitation done by a physical therapist who has special knowledge and expertise in the area, the success rates can be up to 80 percent. Um, those women, and sometimes men, can avoid surgery and recover their continence. The idea of a physical therapist working on urinary control, uh, it's really tough to get your head around. But this area is blessed with quite a few very good physical therapists who have a very good track record and very fine reputation for improving patients' quality of life non-surgically and without the need for medications. If you or a loved one wants help with bladder control, visit fhwaterman.com to find a medical expert. We now turn our attention to nutrition. Many have started the new year with a healthier lifestyle. We head to the Con Recreation Health Center kitchen now to learn a recipe that's perfect for the cooler winter months. For me, the colder weather signals that it is soup season. And one that's everyone's favorite is a hearty, delicious soup that does not require a lot of time in the kitchen. So today we are joined by Florida Hospital Waterman Executive Chef David Atkinson, and we have registered dietitian Stephanie Bassett. So Stephanie, why is this soup able to help us stick to our New Year's resolutions? Well, today we're making a butternut squash soup, and the reason it's so great, it is packed full of fiber, so it keeps, keeps you fuller longer to help with 
with your weight loss goals. That's fantastic. So Dave, what goes into our butternut squash soup? Well, we have fresh butternut squash, we have onions, celery, oregano, nutmeg, and extra virgin olive oil, and a little salt and pepper to season. Okay, so how do we get started with our delicious soup? Uh, first, we're gonna saute the onions and the squash together. Mm. So Stephanie, winter squash, why are squash so good for you to eat? A lot of people don't realize the health benefits. There's a lot of different health benefits for um, winter squash. Um, they're a very good source of vitamin A and vitamin B. Vitamin B helps with your energy production, keeps your energy levels up, helps you with your exercise a little bit. <laughs> good um, for the resolution. <laughs> yes, um, vitamin A is also an antioxidant. So it helps um, you know, with all those antioxidants in your self system, it helps kind of crush them and keep them down. Um, it's also a really good source of fiber and other phytonutrients. So it helps with your feeling of fullness, so you don't have to eat as much or as frequently. So it helps maintain your weight a little bit better. Next, we're gonna add our seasonings. We have a little bit of oregano. This is dried oregano. You can certainly use fresh oregano. Uh, dried is a little more potent, so we use a little less, about half as much as you would with a, a fresh ingredient. Um, we have nutmeg, mm -hmm. which goes well with all pumpkin squashes, that type of stuff. I'm just going to give this a light toss, and then we're going to add our vegetable broth and let it simmer for about 20 minutes. So that's just going to soften up the squash? Yeah, the squash cooks relatively quickly, so 20 minutes is plenty of time. And then I'm guessing, since I see the blender out, <laughs> when you're done cooking it, throw it in the blender. Right, we're just going to blend it up. Spoons at the ready? <laughs> this looks amazing. It smells great too. Wow. Oh, nice. If you'd like the recipe for the butternut squash soup, visit watermanwellness.com. And for more great ideas from the kitchen, consider joining the Yum Yum Club. You'll learn how to prepare healthy, tasty meals at each class, which begin in February. Sign up for one or all of them. Each Yum Yum Club class is $30, and you can register by visiting the Conry Creation Health Center website or calling 352-253-3685. We hope you've enjoyed this month's episode of Waterman Wellness, your pathway to healthy living with help from local experts. Be sure to watch for the February episode right here on Lake Sumter TV for some of the following stories. You'll learn about minimally invasive procedures that help cardiac patients, available right here in Lake County. A local expert explains why the cold and flu season can be especially dangerous for the elderly. And treat yourself and your Valentine to delicious chocolate. You'll find out why it'll be a gift to your health. To learn more about the experts featured in this program, please visit watermanwellness.com. Until next time, I'm Michelle Wargo for the award-winning Waterman Wellness.